Hey there YouTube, this is SJM4306, and wow, uh, kind of stuttered there a little bit. Anyway, uh, yeah, I've been working on a project with the uh, Raspberry Pi, making a little retro Pi uh, NES sort of thingy. Uh, actually, I can show you uh, the painted shell now, so give me a sec. So this is the shell that I painted. Uh, I didn't sand it perfectly smooth, and you know, it looks kind of a bit crap, but anyway... It's uh, the shell that uh, this guy goes in here. Um, there's a little cart door, just like the actual system. Um, I don't know what I'm going to put in there, but anyway, uh, USB ports, HDMI out, power button, LED, reset, whatever. Just exactly like the, uh, the original system. This is the back here. Anyway, that's what this is going to go into. But uh, what I've been making is the, the circuitry for it. So right now, I just have my, uh, my desktop monitors here. But I have uh, HDMI to VGA converter so I can view the signal on my main screen. Um, and I've attached a PIC16F6, uh, uh, sorry, uh, 12F629. Uh, it's an 8 bit uh, PIC microprocessor here. And so what I have it doing is uh, power management, soft power management. Uh, you guys might know that it's kind of a pain with the Raspberry Pi there's really no hard there's no power button or anything you just plug it in and it works and to shut down you have to do it through the command line or you can program a script to do it for you uh, by reading a GPIO and that's exactly what I have this green wire here is connected to uh, what was it GPIO uh, 18 I believe um, and I programmed a, a, a little uh, Python script based off of a tutorial that I found uh, that just sits there and it pulls this uh, button and if it sees uh, the input if it sees it go low then it'll call pseudo shutdown and it just shuts down the system but the problem is then there's no easy way to re-wake it up uh, what I learned is I read on some forums that uh, this little reset header here it's labeled run um, it can actually wake the uh, the processor core from from sleep uh, which is essentially what happens when you shut down so, um, if I pull that low uh, momentarily, it'll actually boot up the system. So I program this uh, chip here, the PIC, to read a switch input and then read the state. So I, I have this uh, wire here which monitors the serial port idle high line. Um, and so if it sees this is on, it knows that it's awake. And so then it, it pulses uh, the GPIO 18 to shut off the Raspberry Pi. If this is not on, then that means that the processor is idling in sleep, which means it's off. And so then instead of uh, pulsing this GPIO, it'll uh, pull this um, reset line low in order to reset and wake up the processor. So I can give you a demonstration here. It's a little tricky. I have to work on the timing of this. It doesn't always seem to work. There we go. So this is a power indicator. So once it turns on, you can see it's awake. And yep, RetroPie is booting, and then I'll show you it shutting it off as well. I have to work on the power on sequence. There seems to be some weird thing going on. I don't know if it's um. I actually don't know what it is. I, I might not be pulsing the uh, reset pin low long enough or something like that, but um, I'll play around with that. Anyway, it's booting up now. Still booting up. Yeah, this is a Model A+, Plus, so it's not... Sorry about that. Uh, yeah, so as I was saying, this is a Model A+, Plus, so it doesn't have... You know, it's not the latest and the greatest, but it's cheap. I got it for about 20 bucks, maybe a year or two ago. And you can see there it's booted. So to shut it off, this works perfectly. You just click the button and it shuts off. <laughs> and any second now. And we're good to go, now it's off. I can power it back on. Yeah, it seems if you hold the button, it, it tends to work. Uh, but if you press it, Quickly, maybe it's a debouncing issue with my code or something. I don't know. I'll have to take a look at at that uh, using like a logic analyzer or something to see the timing of it. But yeah, it works. So yeah, that's uh, all I wanted to show you guys. I'll uh, button this up, make a little tiny board, and you know, um, solder it on permanently, and then get around to wiring the rest of the uh, the mini 
NES uh, Raspberry Pi co emulation console that I'm building. So until I have some more updates, I will see you guys later. Bye.